Madison police are cracking down on speeding and what they're calling drag racing on a stretch of East Washington Avenue. Melissa Kim joins us live from there to tell us how big of a problem this has become for people living there and the steps Madison police are taking. Melissa. Well, hi, Eric. You know, this has been an ongoing problem for quite some time now. I actually spoke to someone who used to live here on East Wash, and she said that every time she would try to cross the street on the crosswalk, cars would actually speed up instead of slowing down. It got to be so bad that she actually moved out of this neighborhood, and that's a sentiment that a lot of people living here share. According to Madison Police, they've gotten 101 complaints so far this year about dangerous driving on this stretch of East Wash. That's compared to the 50 they got in all of last year. So now more officials are getting involved. That includes the city's traffic engineering division. They're handing out more citations, putting up message boards and signs that don't allow cars to turn in certain areas known to be high racing areas. And this past weekend was the first time the city did all those efforts. And so far, this response has been positive. We get that voluntary compliance so people will realize, hey, this is not what I should, you know, I can be out here on a Friday and Saturday night enjoying myself and socializing. But maybe I'll keep my speeds a little bit more under control. Maybe I won't rev my engine or squeal my tires in a residential area um, because I know it's having an impact on the people that live there. And if you're driving on East Wash now, you'll definitely notice a lot more of these signs, a lot more of these orange barriers everywhere you're driving down this stretch here. We're in between first and second right here. And according to Lieutenant Fiore, this extra enforcement and extra effort will go on every weekend through September. All right, Melissa Kim, live on the east side. Melissa, thank you.